on the last video. And so it continues. Fuck. Oh, oh, I, I apparently I did it. I don't even know how that happened. Hey there, Levane. I've always had a distaste for unwelcome visitors. The living need not know about the netherworld. They're free to do as they please with the realm of the corporeal. They should never interfere in the matters of the netherworld, as we should never interfere with the real world. I'm not come to fight. I want to know how to get beneath the henge. I'm searching for someone, and she might be down there. And what on earth makes you think that I will grant your request? Ellen, do not put faith in everything the fairies tell you. Who can predict what kind of world will provide humans with true happiness? However the world changes, there are always those who benefit and those who suffer. Exploring your past is one thing, but more importantly, how will the knowledge of your past affect the way you live? This is a matter for you and you alone to face. Just who are you? I will tell you, but only after you escape the labyrinth of the endless corridor. Prove to me that you can dispel the internal agony of the maze inside your own consciousness. I know you are destined to fail, for your fears will immobilize you in your first step. You know, that's one thing that's always bugged me about this kind of stuff. Hey. I would really like to know this, this thing here. I'll tell you later. After you do this. Hey, I could really use this, I'll tell you later. Do this. But it would be really, no. I'll tell you later. F Fuck, man. God. Hi. Ah, you've come, have you? I hope to avoid a fighting here in this corridor. Okay, well, you don't gotta fight. It's my job. The Nemo sign shudders when it eats a memory that frightens it. Waves propagate in the vicinity, making passage difficult. The Nemo sign prevents people from advancing past that point. To expunge it, the person causing the obstruction must overcome his fears. I mean, his or her fierce, bruh, quality, 2015. What do you wish to ask? Uh, well, what is, what is this? The cloak of the endless corridor is the cloak of dawn. Tick tock, tick tock, it flows like the sands of time. Stop it soon before it flows out of sight. Oh! That's what that countdown was for, huh? Against the, the clock man? Huh. Well. Okay. The folklore in the endless corridor is a living room called Flesh Room. Flesh Room is tough, but do not despair. Start a limb with a spurt of water to the eyes. Ah, wash his face, of course. The area this way is our home base. One cannot easily pass through it. This place is a special link to the Henge in the village. We all have our weak points. It's one secret we'd rather keep to ourselves. Even a mighty folklore has an Achilles heel. Heel, wait. I thought it was Achilles heel as in like H-E-E-L. I, I swear to God that's how you spell it. Hold on. By God, I was right. I found a typo. Gonna report to you later. All right, so. The tick-tock, the panties won't stop thing. I gotta go deal with that first. I wanna see if I can get that without having to redo everything. So, one second. Okay, all right. I'll beat him up, just as I normally do. Nice and painful. Okay, all right, all right, keep it up. Please be the right one. You're not, that's fine. Don't gotta be. Still have plenty of time to work with. I should have probably hit some more there. There we go. Alright, stay by this little, little rug. Oh 
Okay, alright, that's fine, that's fine. That's him, right here. There we go, okay, alright, here we go. Here we go, check this out. Hey, everybody. What's up? Check it. Bam. Hey, I found you. What are you doing there? Oh god, actually I should not be doing this right now. They're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me. They're- Fuck! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine! I said it was fine, you're making it not fine. Don't unfine it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. I got this. I got this, man. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Fuck me. Fuck me, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! There we go, baby. There we go. Cloak of Dawn. My kind of shit. I wanna go look at it. Whoa, that's not even a cloak. You don't even have- that's not- that's not a cloak at all, that's clothes! You're wearing clothes! Like these ones up here? That's a cloak, you see the cloak? This one here? Yeah, it's questionable. It's- you can pretend that the wings are cloak stuff. And then, this one... Actually, that's not a cloak at all either. What the hell? What kind of logic is this? Ah, either way. You look like a Final Fantasy character, I'm into it. Looking good, Ellen. Looking good. I'm gonna save, so I don't ever gotta do that again. Alrighty, why are you making rattlesnake sounds? Show me a door. You, you, sh you show, you, you show, you show me a, you show me a door. You, all right. Hey, fix it. What do you want to ask? Uh, how do I? Fuck, fuck. Levane, Levane, you broke it. Levane, fix it, please. You have a spirit of messenger, but you lack the strength. I will destroy you. What you see there is your own fears. You claim that you wish to know your past, when in fact you are too frightened to face it. Go back to the village and know the depth of your fears, and never show your face in the netherworld again. Okay, a little fucked up. Um, I guess I'll head back to the village. Helen, where have you been? Okano. Something terrible has happened. Come to the church. Speak of the devil. We missed you. This time, Harriet was murdered. While you were gone. Harriet too? When will this stop? This pattern. I've seen it before. Through the door. Then the horrors follow. That's it. I went through that door long, long ago. Finally putting things together, Ellen. You, Ellen, are Cecilia. Your mother claimed that you were dead. Keats... You knew all the time? My past... It's all coming back. My life was overshadowed by an obscure fear. But only now is that fear coming into focus. I must know my roots. 
Do I dare unmask the horrors of my past? This decision is yours, but I must say, it's only natural to seek the truth. You need time to think, or speak to someone who knew young Cecilia. Ellen, you finally did it. You finally realized who you really were. I am so proud. I am so proud of you. You had to be told bluntly, but I am so proud. Also, Harriet's dead. That's a little fucked up. But I am so proud. Hi there, by the way. Cecilia? I've heard that name before. What? My late mother often screamed the name using terrible words. Yeah. Yeah, you people didn't really like you too much. Mrs. Lester. Yes? That letter that claimed Cecilia had died. It was a fabrication. I... I am Cecilia. Oh. Oh! Yes, yes, I... I can see the resemblance. Now I remember. I once lived in Doolin. My name was Cecilia. Which means... This is a picture of you when you were young. Yes, I remember. There I am. Yes, that's me. You were a bright-eyed little angel. Ellen, the entire village adored you. Just what happened to me that day 17 years ago? Scarecrow? Keats went on ahead. He defeated the folklore and ventured deeper inside. He's trying to disrupt the Fairy Lord's plans. Should you let this happen? I'm not sure. I don't even know if the Fairy Lord is correct in his thinking. <laughs> Ellen. They spend too much time pondering the complexities of things. Ellen. Why do you dislike fighting? Why? Consider all that's gone on in this village. Enough to make anyone hate conflict. There's not a single thing to be gained from all this hatred. It only results in suffering. You're right, Ellen. Perhaps if everyone were like you, if they had the burden of a tormented, frightful past, then they'd probably stop all this fighting in the first place. Heavens, no. I would never want anyone to have to go through the same things. <laughs> you always were such a kind soul, dear Ellen. Well, Ellen, it appears that you have overcome your fears. The Nemo sign in the endless corridor has disappeared. <laughs> I've yet to remember everything. I have a feeling I may have missed something rather important, in fact. Like what? What did you forget, Alan Cecilia? You're not afraid anymore, are you? If not, then the Nemo sign will have stopped shuddering. Yeah, maybe it won't be rattlesnakes anymore. I'm gonna go see if he's rattlesnakes. If he is... I'm gonna bring a tunnel snake over to his rattlesnake. snake. I'll be like, hey, you stop that. That'll get out of my face. Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Squeak, I'm worried about Charlotte. Squeak, at night, we always play together. Squeak, because at night, Charlotte visits the netherworld. Squeak, that's dangerous. Squeak, no, she needs a playmate. Who the hell is Charlotte? 
Hey, buddy. That's terrible what happened. What will the villagers do? I don't know, just cope. Defeat Bargast. I don't need those things. You give me these things and I'm like... Hey, you! A few rad children can see fairies. Those fairies are actually have lives. They would never harm a human, so no need to worry. They're especially gentle with children. Even if the children claim to have seen them, no adult will believe the story. That's why the fairies go forever unnoticed by humans. You know, I never actually noticed. You have a frickin' hedgehog on your shoulder. Just, just chillin'. You're my kind of lady. I have seen Frizzy. I wonder where she's gone. Int. At an int. At, at the, the have. That I said earlier. Meaning I haven't seen Frizzy. It looks like she must have been in love with someone. Oh man, who's she in love with? Was she in love with the deer man? I understand he's got charms that would woo anybody. Aside for Ellen though. The Nemo sign is gone. The fear must have been purged. I'm amazed that such a terrible fear could have been overcome. Yeah, I know. Power of painkillers, right? It's ridiculous. Oh my. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Ah! 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 Hold, uh, hold, hold on! Hold, hold, uh, hold, give me a second. Here, I miss, I'm missing so many pages. Good lord. Alright, anyway. Um. What? Uh huh. I got that for blocking punches, I guess. Uh, I have whatever that is for summoning eyeballs. And. I can. Okay, okay. I know what. I, I can hit him with that thing. I was. Okay. Alright, you things. I need to go punch an eyeball that I saw. There's one over here. Hey, eyeball. Uh, is it this one? No, is it this one? Oh, that's... Oh, you're running away. You ran the wrong way, buddy. How about I put a die ball to sleep? No. Okay. Um... So far, no good. Put these guys to sleep, I guess. Never mind. Shit. What the fuck am I using for the eyeball? Oh, maybe it was you. Was it you? I think that was- Oh, right! I forgot about wetting his eyeball. They mentioned that. I totally forgot the wetting eyeball part. That was said, like, fucking an hour ago, but it was said. So yeah, I'll just wet his eyeball a bit. I was like, oh god, I just hate having moisture. And then I gotta punch this with this guy? Alright, I can do that. Keep going at the punches. Okay, these these drop. Oh god, that's gross. Just keep punching them. Okay, you can absorb that one if you want. Never mind. Go ahead and just beat the rest of these guys up. Oh, that's the fists. This is Binding of Isaac right now. Jesus. All right, so next time that happens, I'll just pull out the fists. Here, get get rid of these guys. Okay, fist, f fist. Okay. I think I fisted him. Why do I say that shit? What the f- I, I'm better than that. I, I know I am. There we go. Simple as, uh... However you want to clarify that. Um... Just- Oh, alright. Just keep beating these guys up then. Oh wait, actually, you know what? Here, get rid of these guys. They're, they're just- Frustrating. I don't need them in my life right now. I don't have enough. Okay, I did. Let me get my my the MP stuff back, please. Thanks, man. Oh, I apparently somehow dodged that. I didn't even have my controller on the thing that could have made that happen. But hey, it was my innit abilities. Oh, 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 oh. I guess I'm just totally fine if I'm not there. Why did I try to get the closed eyeball? Meh. Alright, 
Okay, it should be okay from that one. And just make this eyeball get all wet. Because, again, for some reason, they don't like that. I guess maybe I'm just shooting chlorinated water. And that's, like, bad. I get that. I, I was raised with pools. So I understand. That shit hurts, but... I was unaware. Oh, wait, it's salt water. Of course that hurts. Alrighty. Let's beat this guy up here. I, I guess that's supposed to be like some kind of weird heart, but it's it's freaking me out. Oh, you're gonna go oh, I should have dodged. I should have dodged and then I got punched. This little guy's getting in my way again. That's okay. That mouth is tripping me out. Reminds me of that one Star Wars thing. I, I got footed on. Okay, that's a thing we're dealing with now. Lock it. I don't need to block it. Is the foot gonna be a, a continuous asset in your arsenal, or is that just a one-time use? Hmm. Who really knows? Oh, that's a foot coming down. Yep, alright. Looks like that's gonna keep happening, but he gives me a nice preface of being like, hey, I didn't really, like, do good on the roof here, so it's gonna be doing a lot of dust sprinkles every time you're walking upstairs. Cool with me, dog. Come on, homie. Nope, nope, nope. Nada. There we go. Give me your heart, sack. Oh, that's a foot coming down. Good. It takes a, a true skilled artisan. Okay, it's a, it's a hand. It's okay. Hey, it looks like we're good to go. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get hit. He's about to hit me. He is, yep. Thanks for ruining everything, pal. I literally have to restart now because you... This is... God damn it, dude. God. Oh, we're good now. No one, no little jerks in sight. I gotta do this thing where I'm bashing you back and forth. You're gonna be swapping whichever decisions you feel like probably very soon. Okay, what are we doing now? Now we do this erratic thing. Very weird, but uh, it's it. Oh fuck! Damn it! It's doable. It's just very odd. Right, jig, oh, God damn it! All right, what now? Going to balance? Going to? Okay, we're wiggling back and forth. Come on! Come on! Come on, pal! Please, for the love of God! All right, just jiggle him. Jiggle. Oh, almost on jiggles. Oh my fucking dick! Come on, pal! Come on! Jiggle. This is its true form. She's made the folklore into a watchdog for her hideout. What terrifying power. But now is the time to conquer this place, and to keep them on the defensive. I understand why they must aim for the Netherworld Core. But why must we fight Levane? Listen, Ellen. They have put us through a terrible ordeal. The fact that we can no longer move freely between the realms and the entrance to the Endless Corridor has been blocked by Baral, the Evil Eye. All of this is the work of Levane. Most of the messengers that were with us have lost their lives as a result. Ellen, it is also for your sake. Really? So I feel like you've been using me this entire time, but I mean, yeah, that's just me. This place was created by Levane herself. But how? Ellen, I imagine that you could do the same. For you, like Lavane, are a messenger. So, then Lavane 
Yes, Levane once had the important responsibility of telling the dwellers of reality about the netherworld, so that ordinary men and women would be reassured about their fates after death. But then one day, she abdicated this responsibility and disabled one of the twin trees in the netherworld core, the tree that controls the human subconscious. The damage to that twin tree is what was so affected the netherworld. The twin trees form a spiritual link between the netherworld and the people in the real world. Without the trees, the memories of men would not accrue in the netherworld. Due to Levane's meddling, the link between reality and the netherworld was severed. And now the netherworld is a passive recipient of the ripples of the real world. The mutual connection has been destroyed. We cannot allow this to continue. What will happen to Lamane? The court will decide her fate. She shall receive a punishment commensurate to the gravity of her sins. Now, Alan, open the entrance to the Henge. These are sacred grounds for messengers like yourself. Show proof of your distinction, and the path shall open. Proof? And the medallion? That one right there. What? The color of the medallion? Has changed. I, I didn't do it. Okay. Well, uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna hang out with this Nemo scene over here. Hey. Now, press on with the attack. Uncover the mysteries of death. Okay, that's a little weird. There is nothing to fear, for in the afterlife awaits true happiness. They're okay. I did it. Okay, all right. Dovkin now. I'll bite. Oh, that's the door I saw. There's a bunch of Nemo scenes, or signs. Whatever you want to call them, I don't care. We can travel to the netherworld as long as we have the cloak. Oh, okay. That woman chieftain Lavani has run off. Find her. She's literally right there. I don't know how you don't see her. Probably because you're looking this way towards me. But still, man. Lavani cannot be located. Perhaps we've done all we can? She's right there! Oh my goodness. The warrior who led the construction on the Henge has taken his own life. This should be the last of them. Huh. Kill them all. They should thank us. They will reach their precious land of bliss early. All right, these guys are kind of creeping me out. What's up? Greetings, Alan. Have you come of your own will? The real world is now well in its present state. So, that's why you've looked to the old world. Or should I say, the old world as the fairy lord describes it to you. Levane, you too are a messenger, aren't you? We were the original natives of the earth, but we were destroyed by the humans who came after us. I'm the final survivor of our race, the last messenger. Why have you done what you have to the netherworld? Because there are so many people in the world just like you, Alan. Happiness does not come from nowhere. You must seek it yourself. The human fear of death is the driving force behind human action. A limited time on Earth is what makes humankind seek material and spiritual achievement. It is what makes life precious and dear. Ellen. 
They know little about the world outside a small boundary. Learn from others, and look inside yourself. Then, and only then, will you be able to sort this out. My actions were not a mistake. Admit your defeat in Hell Realm. Your deeds will go unforgiven for eternity. You will bring Keats to the Netherworld and settle this once and for all. We will never allow such meddling again. I haven't the time to waste bickering with the likes of you. Damn. She's run away. Ellen, be patient. Our time has almost come. Our victory is imminent. Ellen, our hopes rest upon you. You know, I just want to throw it out there. I understand there's a reason for it. You know, olden times and stuff. But I fucking hate how the Fairy Lord talks. I just... It is so hard to get a read on how to properly enunciate what he's saying. It's like trying to read out Shakespeare when you're 12 and you only like, the only amount of English you know is like, Hey mom, can I have chicken nuggets? And your mom's just like, eh. You don't got a lot of little, little experience with it. I'm in that same boat. I just want chicken nuggets. But instead I get like, I don't even know what I just said. Life is hard. Where am I going? What's going on right now? What? I, I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go into my house and I'm gonna take a nap. Hey everybody, is there anything going on over here? Scarecrow, help me out please. <laughs> Ellen, we have our key. This is no time for messing around. The Fairy Lord cannot raise a finger against Keats while he's in the village. Oh, so you're saying I gotta go punch up Keats? I'm gonna go put my fist in his face? Is that what you are implying? Okay. I would love to. Keats? Are you home? I'm coming for you. You better be in there. This is where Keats is staying. Don't think it's proper to visit at night. What? You can get him off guard. He'll be sleeping, you creep in, and you're just like, Hey, Keats. Can't get you. And then he, you don't actually say that because you might wake him up. So you just say that inside your head. And then you get him, and he com he's completely caught off guard. But apparently, you don't play like that. You play by the book. That book sucks. I've seen those pictures. Alright, Keats. I'm coming now. I hope I'm packing like a Swiss Army knife. I don't know if they make those in this area of the world, but I'm sure they might. That wouldn't surprise me. They're pretty well loved, I think. Where the hell? Keats! Are you in the oven? Are you in your chair? Fuck. Where the hell? Are you. Do I want to sit and wait for you? What? Can I look at your stuff? Where the hell? Alright, turns out I have no idea where to find Keats. A little bit upset. Alright, you know what? Here. I'm gonna go see Miss, Miss, Mrs. Lester. She seems really helpful. She likes to help me out. Hey, ma'am, have you seen Keats? I remember something. That day. You were injured badly. There was a distinct change that occurred in you. Goodness. And saw when so many misfortunate events came all at once, killing several villagers. But that had nothing to do with you. But when did I start being called Alan? If it was my mother who gave me the new name, then why? Then why? 
Why did she send the letter claiming that I had died? Helen, stop it. Stop worrying about this. Okay. I will. I have a keys to find. Lulu could be beneath the hench. Now I've discovered how to get in. What? So we can now search for Lulu? Yes. I shall go to the hench at night. I couldn't find Lulu in another world. Perhaps she's trapped inside. Right. That's also a thing I had to do. What could Lulu possibly have wanted from these ruins? As far as I could tell, she was as happy as could be. She had a stunning intellect, good looks, no lack of friends. Why did she go away from me? She must be alive. Let's go, O'Connell. Come on, O'Connell. Not the right way, O'Connell. Check it out. Magic. Unbelievable. Lulu must have known about this when she went inside. Yeah, I know. This Lulu sounds like a smart girl. Was she in Final Fantasy X? Alright. I'm here for Lulu. Show me Lulu. And no one gets hurt. Okay. Still don't see a Lulu yet, but I see something on the ground over there. I'll bite. What might you be? This is where I donned the cloak. Hmm. Someone has been here. Quite recently, in fact. An earring? But it was just a mummy in the cloak. Let me see that. My god. No. <laughs> this is her earring. It all makes sense. The mummy that you saw was Lulu. You said she'd been gone for only a week. You... You told me that she was alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. The truth is, she disappeared half a year ago. I knew it. But I couldn't face the truth. It always felt just a week before. O'Connell. I can't believe this. Why did I ever let you give me hope? I don't deserve to go on living. What? What the fuck? Why is... I don't get anything anymore! Suzette, have you seen O'Connell? That scholar. I saw him sort of wandering around in a daze. He was heading for the cliff of she. I think he's alright. The cliff? I suppose everyone knew that O'Connell's girlfriend was probably dead. It's just that no one could bear to shatter his hopes that she had gone missing only the week before and would return. He needed someone to help him face reality. To tell him the truth. Oh. McConnell, don't you dare. You mustn't make any rash decisions. I'm 
so sorry. It's all my fault. No? As I should be apologizing. I'm sorry I said all of that. I didn't mean to worry you. I was not myself. I should have never blamed you after all the effort you made for me. Death is a part of life. There's no way around it. In Lulu's case, I just could not bring myself to accept it. The purpose of the priestesses of yore was not to commune with the dead, but to assist people in accepting death itself. You told me what I needed to hear. In order to overcome my predicament, I first needed to face the depths of my despair. Perhaps they were a mirror of the depth of my love for her. I still have little idea of what to do. But someday I will achieve closure and get back on my feet again. You've helped me. I'd like to repay you. I think it's fair to say that you are disturbed. You do realize what this all means, don't you? These trips to the netherworld and such. Wait! Don't say another word! Sometimes I don't know what's happening. You once lived in this village. That's why you have memories of the dead. There is something I would like to try. It should shed light upon your lost memories. I've covered up, but okay. <laughs> Oh, my God.